Salman Sohail, thrilled to have you on Film Companion. I have to put this out on the table, though. I find him a little intimidating, OK? Yeah. <laughs> it's true, because he's so unpredictable. So I have to tell you this. Last time we did an interview, yeah. he comes on the set, cameras are rolling, he touches my feet, OK? <laughs> <laughs> I started laughing. Out of respect, I still do. No, no, laughing. I said, I said to him, why are you touching my feet? And he said, aap buzur go. <laughs> बड़ों की इज्जत करना चाहिए ये हमारी संस्कृति हमारे हमें हमको हमारे माता पिता ने सिखाया है आई एम श्योर बट सो यू डन 15 फिल्म्स विद हिम एज एज एक्टर प्रोड्यूसर डायरेक्टर ओ रियली 15 या 15 आई वी डिड अ काउंट ऑफ ऑफ ऑल दीस मूवीज हाउ डू यू हार्नेस दिस अनप्रेडिक्टेबिलिटी नो इन फैक्ट आई डोंट थिंक ही इज अनप्रेडिक्टेबल आई जस्ट फील दैट ही इज वेरी स्पोंटेनियस यू एक्सपेक्ट Uh, Salman Khan to be in a certain way, and uh, but when he comes on to the set or uh, even real life or real life, he's he just equates the situation what at that particular moment should be equated. He's got no baggage that he will judge it in a certain way, and I think that's the niceness about uh, the character that uh, the character in movies or uh, in the real life character. There are no cliches. Is it's just what you feel at that point in time. You say you do. You know. It's, there's no compulsion to anything. Okay? There's this format that you have to follow. I think all that is bakwas. It's just being pretentious. You know? So if you feel in um, a certain manner, I think you should express it. And, and that's not, what you do. And there are no guidelines. I no, I mean, we, we, like uh, somebody came up to my dad and said, Dare Salim Saab, aapko milke kitni khushi hui hai. Aap 15 saal se nahi badle. And he says that that's not a compliment. You know, we we have to grow every day of our lives, and if I haven't changed for the past 15 years, that is horrible. I mean, yeah, but he was talking about dad's looks, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Dad took it the other way around. <laughs> you know, this film Tube Light is based on Little Boy, which mm. which is of course about a real little boy. He's mm. eight years old, and he wants his father to come back from World War II. How hard was it to transplant this story to India with two much older characters? So I haven't seen the film. Okay, I just saw um, Kabir just showed me the promo of this film. He said, you know, I've seen this film a very long time ago. Um, it was coming on television, so I I had a script, you know, which was based on the 1962 Indo Pak War. So um, you know, I've just taken elements from here and I've made my own story. And then he'd seen some someone Daru ka ad, some black label ad or something where these two guys are just walking together and one guy disappears. So he had these very... Um, Disconnected things. Yeah, visuals he had. So I said, okay, you go and um, work on it. Let me know. There's another script that he got to me which I didn't want to do because I didn't think I could play that character, you know, correctly. It had a lot of... Um, too much of hard work in that film, so I didn't want to, you know, older man and oh, different, different age groups and... So I said, yeah, it's more prosthetics, we're going to be all over again. And um, I have this uh, breathing uh, problem, you know, I've got a deviated septum. So 87% uh, uh, of my uh, nose is blocked. So anything on my face, you know, this new thing is that um, it just makes me uncomfortable. So I said, it's going to be a lot of work. Irritable, irritability level will go to another level altogether. And then I don't think that is like the best mahal for making a film. So he said, this is something that I have. I said, well, he came in three months and he worked on it and I thought it was the most beautiful film. So then we went into the casting mode and then we were paying ke bhai ke role mein kisko, bhai ke role mein kisko. So bade bade stars ke naam aaya, you know, ke is mein lehenge, special appearance hoga, guest appearance hoga. Then the role became even stronger. The challenging part was that if you'd have taken a very big star in the film, the role is such a good role that and all, everyone's friends, you know, they had done the film. But my only thing was that um, that connect, you know, two brothers, you know, um, is a very strong connect. If I have a friend of mine as an actor who's doing this, you know, it would be, um, it, it would look like a performance. So the challenging part comes in, there's one big star who's dear friends, you know, there are two, three names that come up. And there's a brother, you know, because he's your brother, okay, and they're bigger actors than him, okay, it gets very uh, awkward to uh, say, you know, what about Sohel? Because then you think that, you know, trying to push his brother. This. 
but Kabir got it in a second. He says, you know, this is the best. This will be the best casting there is ever. So perhaps we would have, with somebody else coming into the film, you know, we would have had um, bigger numbers. Perhaps that the promotion would have been much bigger, and you know, uh, collections would have had, you know, come in a lot stronger and a lot larger. But eventually, I believe that um, it is not the stars. You know, it is the film. You know, a really good film. You know, will get those numbers. For me, as an actor, for me, um, it would become a lot more real, a lot more easier to play this with my own brother. So Kabir at once got it. He says this would be the best connect there's ever, because you know, you guys grown up together as brothers. You know, I would not have to establish anything. You know, that bonding between you know two artists that they're brothers. The whole world knows that, and. Um, so hell physically looks the character so i have no problem in fact i think that this is the best choice that one can um, have for this film so then the next journey was would he want to do it so did, you, did you say yes immediately salman bhai heard it and then he told me that uh, kabir is going to offer you the film so i said sure i said he said nobody hear it so i said no, i mean the fact that you said yes to the film and it's a home production no, because many PR he came on the set and he refused to do it. Refused to do it. They say, yeah, this is, you know, a different kind of comedy, you know, it's like <coughs> what is happening, you know, you're like on a different So you can't take him for granted. Yeah, so then I said the way you behave with Nirvan at home, would you do this? Uh, do that only. He said, ah, then that's fine. So David was freaking out that these in ka schedule hai. And on the first day he says, Yeah, take take Saif for this. I said, no, where are we going to get Saif from? You know? <laughs> and then eventually he did it. But this one, you were more convinced? Uh, clear. <laughs> there was more clarity in this one. <laughs> when I <when, when laughs> started, it was, you know, how, I mean, how Back films, in the day, yes, yeah, how of films used to be made. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so I remember Katrina and me uh, watching this film on television. And so we'd already signed her for a film and stuff like that. So we didn't know what to make with her. So we watched Cactus Flower. And I said, got it. The best role, best role for for Katrina. Otherwise, Katrina was not fitting into anything at that point in time. And then I, I didn't do anything. I sent the uh, the film to um, to David. David himself came and came and said, I never mentioned Katrina at all. David himself came and said, "Yar, wo jo dusri ladki hai na, I think Katrina suits that role. Um, will she work? Does you ask her?" He went and asked her. She said, mm, "I think yeah, that's good." That's how she did the film. But, but tell me this, if people who are in positions of such power, as, as you are, um, sort of push the family, you know, there's been so much conversation about nepotism in the last couple of months. Do you think that it in some way will stunt the film industry? No, uh, we'd, uh, only if there's something which is deserving, okay, um, uh, we would recommend. Not only family, friends, you know, um, other people, we will never mix, um, you know, family or friends with uh, um, with work. With work, never do that. Never ever do that. I've never done it so far. They've never done it with me. So whenever a dabang has come, you know, um, a partner has come. So during the phases where I was dipping down, okay, they're the ones who gave me the best films. Like Pyar Kya Rana Kya, bang once again. Okay, dabang, dabang to partner. So then when they've done stuff. You know, smaller films, they've not come and said, okay, um, you know, come and do a five day guest appearance. We're all aware of these things. We're all aware of these things. This time, Arbaaz, when we're doing um, um, Dabang 3, so he's producing it. I mean, in the first one, also, he's an actor, so he'll be there in the film. But it's not Makhanchan Pandey's story, you know, and there also we're brothers, you know. So it's not Makhanchan, you know, Pandey. And they're very competent where these things are concerned. And uh, Arbaaz has come out to say, I'm not directing. I'm not directing. That direction bit, I can't handle at all. Really? Yeah, straight out. I'm not directing. I'll produce it. Okay. You and me will sit on the script. We'll find the director for it. And that's it. That's why don't you want to direct? He says, I can't direct you. My BP goes up. You know, I get nervous breakdowns and stuff like that. I don't want to direct. On the other hand, he's very comfortable doing that. Really? Yeah. I, I, I kind of enjoy the process. Uh, f for me, filmmaking, you know, like when when partner happened, 
I genuinely, I, I could have not asked for any portfolio better than producing partner because I was a big David Dhawan fan. Uh, I knew Salman Bhai's uh, comic timing post PRK Dhanaki and, and all the films that he had done then. It was time to work with Govinda and uh, so just getting this whole team together as a producer was an enjoyable journey and just seeing it all happen. So, you know, it, it all depends on uh, film to film. You know, the few films that uh, you'd like to direct, uh, the few films, I, I genuinely believe if, if a script comes to me and uh, there are much more competent technicians than me who could probably direct that kind of a film and I would just want to produce it. Uh, similar even as an actor, uh, as Bhai even mentioned that, uh, you can take something which is which you know you can do justice to. But at times you take a challenging role where uh, you can go totally off. And I think that that's very unfair to uh, the production, to the direction, where you've not, uh, you know that uh, you're taking a challenge where you may not be capable. And uh, you can actually and sabotage everyone. And, and you're basically using your power, you know, for, which is, yeah, which is not, uh, which is not correct as well. Like I worked with Katrina, Okay, but she was never opposite me. Either she was opposite Govinda or she was opposite Sohel. She was never opposite me. You know? Then we did a film, uh, Yuvraj, which I didn't want her to sign. But she wanted to be a Subhaj guy heroine because the way he portrays his girls and stuff like that. So she signed the film I got to know much later. So that, that film didn't work because I don't think uh, on screen and off screen should, you know, go like that because I just, I'm just not very comfortable with that. And then after that, we did Tiger, it worked. And now we're doing Tiger Zinda. That also should work. Speaking of Tiger Zinda, Ali Abbas Zafar Talk told Talk about... Uh, Tube Light. No, I'm coming back to that. So, uh, he said to me that it took him about three months to get you to that point where you did that, that scene which was amazing mm. uh, of looking at your paunch, looking mm. at yourself in the mirror. Mm. And he said you were so vulnerable, it was so difficult mm. that, that it took a while to get there. Was there a moment in Tube Light like that which was difficult for you as an actor? So I was just avoiding that because throughout Sultan, I was really big, big and like muscular big. Like Amr did it the other way around. He was fat and big. I was throughout Sultan. Even the bits when um, I was out of shape, I was totally in shape. Because everything was 15 days. I flashback to 15 days shooting. Then I flashback to 15 days. Then 15 days shooting. Then I flashback to 15 days shooting. Then I went to the president. Then I went to the introduction. Then I went to the climax. So, because Ali has never gone to the gym in his entire life, so Ali does not know that it takes a good three and a half, four months, okay, to lean down and to bulk up. So, that shot is, I was in the same shape of the MMA fighting things, what I would done. So, he wanted like the big stomach and all that stuff. I just wanted him to be out of shape. So, in that I forgot my stomach. So I forgot my son. So when you see that, even that shot, even that forgot, the four pack is there. It is, it is there. It's a paunch with a four pack. Yeah, it is, it is there. <laughs> because I believe, you know, these wrestlers, even when they give up, no, they're very hard. Because so much of training that's, that's gone into them, no, even if they have a slight stomach, it is a kadak stomach. You know, it's not thal thal. So, because I know, because you know, all my chachas and everyone, they wrestle and they're big wrestling fans and you see so much of wrestling on television, etc. Um, I happen to know a lot of wrestlers, so I know their body type. But was there any part in Tube Light, where, yeah. where any scene which where you were vulnerable or, or sort of really... You see the film, you see the film, it is the most beautiful, beautiful film there is. If you think Bajirangi had that, hmm? if you thought the Sultan had that, this is 10 times more, 10 times more. You like, you will see the film and then because you know, everyone knows that we are brothers and everyone has brothers and cousins and all. If they do not relate to this film, I would seriously think that there's something wrong. And if a lot of people don't relate to it, then I would seriously think that we have, we've gone <laughs> wrong. <laughs> but tell me, when's the last time you really panicked as an actor? Yeah. You don't panic? I'm not an actor. So. 
there's come no need on. To, there's no need to panic. See, I am dependent on the script. If I hear the script and if I visually see the film, then I'm on it. If I've visually seen myself in the film, like when I was struggling, I remember I used to hear a lot of scripts and I used to see Sanjun one script and I used to see Jackie in one script. You couldn't imagine yourself. I could never imagine myself in a film. So I said, why is he narrating this to me and I'm seeing Sanju in it? I said, this is not my casting, yeah? And then I used to see Jackie in it. Then I used to see Sunny in it. So I never saw myself in any film which before Mene PRK was narrated to me. Never. And then I heard Mene PRK and I said, dude, ye to chahiye chahiye. And then before that I got impatient and I signed BBO Tessie and then there was a problem, okay, which is going to be the first release. And, uh, thank God everything worked out correctly. Otherwise, I would have been a director or still an assistant director somewhere because I told Suraj if I'm not there on this film. After Bibi Hota Si, it's a super film. The more people, the more it runs, the bigger hit is going to be, the more people are going to hate me. So I'm done with this. After a few years, they'll forget about it. You know, whoever you take for Mene um, Ki, I think there was a choice of Deepak Tijori and um, uh, Kunal Goswami, this, uh, Manu Sapsan. So these were the two choices, finalized choices. And I said, I'm coming and I'll work with you on the AD as an AD because I love the film. Here you are. I had to say this and he was very impressed and he took me <laughs> for Mana <laughs> And one more thing I did is, uh, I said, if I don't get this film, okay, these are my friends' names and try them. If I don't get it, some of my friends should get it. But you had told me once, uh, and sorry, like, I need you to tell me how true this is. Uh, he had said that Sajid Nadiarwala used to say that you can catch Salman for anything, but you can't catch him acting. <laughs> <laughs> he had quoted Sajid to me. Yeah. Was this ever true? I think it's still true. Uh, as, as I said, that cause when you mentioned earlier, that uh, he, you can never, yeah, you can never catch him, yeah, when you say catching him, catching the actors, <laughs> yeah, you can never catch him acting or... Meaning listen. that effort of acting doesn't show? No, an effort. I saw also um, the characters that I'm, I'm playing um, are fairly, you know, fairly simple. I've seen, you know, people around me have seen, like my comic timing is, is his, you know, comic timing in real life. Um, the anger that I, you know, portray on screen is a combination of my father's and Arbaz's you know, um, so there are a lot of these things like, for example, this film um, is out and out in my way, okay. Um, Mahesh Manjarkar's son, Satya, okay, he's the most simplest, sweetest boy there is. So it's, he's, very, he's about 17 years old now, 17, 18 years old now. So his innocence is on a different level altogether. He used to come and work out with me, he comes and chills with me, okay. The most decent, the most amazing kid there is. And then there's this boy, who's Parvez, who's my duplicate, okay? Now, he is the simplest and nicest boy there is ever. So all when you go late to shoot, setting up, standing in, long shots and all that stuff. So Parvez does all, all that kind of stuff. So I had Satya's look and thing in mind. And Parvez used to be there on the set all the time. So that niceness has come from these two people and then uh, went down to when I was like 11 and 12 years old, you know, things, how I've reacted to things, how I used to run in school and all you know that. So it just comes. Yeah. You just need to, yes, and it all comes to you when you're hearing the script. You can visualize this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While yeah. you're hearing it. Yeah, because, um, yeah, so only if I can visualize it, even if I like it, I mean, and when he's narrating, it, it's a nice three and a half hour, you know, in the process of a narration in that three and a half hour. When he's narrating, your mind is going here, your mind is going there, and it keeps on coming back. And he said, Are, um, wo kya I didn't get that, uh, went off somewhere, zoned out. And then he comes back and he explains the scene. So that is where, that is where I signed uh, the film, is if I can visually see me and the film, you know, that's the only thing. And I would want to see this film. Go back to that thing where you go to watch a film in the theater and you see the posters around, you see the trailers around, and say, ah, this is one I want to see. Do you is watch that? your own movies? Hmm? Do you go into theaters? No, no. No, no, no. no. Do you watch? I get the like, reaction, I get the reaction. But are you curious fans. ever, what's going on in Galaxy? 
No, I have I to tell you, that. you can't hear the dialogue because when he walks in, they're already clapping. So I can't, I, I don't know what they're saying. Yeah, I, <laughs> you know? I remember in, 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 in Tiger, yeah. it's just a silhouette. Your first introduction yeah, yeah. is just a silhouette. And they were, it was just, it was deafening mm. to the point where you, you, know, you, you have no clue what's going on. It's like a festival. Yeah, and the thing is, even the people who watch films in multiplexes, they go and see this in, in, in yeah, single so theaters. Yes. And I'm saying, yeah, dude, collection, big. <laughs> ब्लैक में दो हजार तीन हजार पाँच हजार पाँच हजार की टिकट ले लो ब्लैक के अंदर वो यार मल्टीप्लेक्स में ही देख लो यार हाँ वहाँ पे ये धमाल मचा वो धम मचा वहाँ पर जो भी यहाँ जो जो कि यहाँ पर मचा रहे हो but tell me this i don't know if you saw sachin's documentary um, no i haven't, I haven't seen it you know that. so there's this mm. moment where his friend asks him that mm. when you walk into mm. that stadium and mm. this whole stadium is going sachin sachin mm. what do you feel mm. and he says i feel responsibility do you feel that because always. You know, always. because the people who love you will follow you to hell and back. Always. Is that why you always want to be good on screen? Yeah, off screen as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why did you smile? <laughs> no, no, just no, off screen. Off screen is it's very important to be good on off screen. Yeah, it's because very, you very feel important. that. But you feel that responsibility. You feel that itni mehnat ki inlo, and they like you, and then they go to a, um, to watch a movie, and because you've been irresponsible, or you just had some days free, and you uh, want to do something for a friend, or so you know for some you know family member, you've signed a shitty film which is going to release, and you lied about it in all your interviews. That is like the best film that I've ever done, and stuff like that. I think that's a con job. Films may not do well, but you need to believe in the film. You need to believe in in that this film will come, and this film will you know be a blockbuster. Otherwise, don't do it. It's just going convincing, you know, telling people something mediocre, something very average is, you know, um, really, really nice. You know, it's like the best film that you ever done. I think that's a lie. That should not ever happen. Just because you want to do, you know, a friend a favor, you know, or you get into awkward situation, ke nahi bolega to, you know, to relationship kharab ho jayega. Or for money. Yeah. Oh, for money. Oh, for money. Oh, for money. Yeah. 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 money. Money, yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah, because I mean... And there was a time which I did because I didn't have any other choices of films. And I knew that these films are not going to do well at all. You know that in your yeah. bones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at that point of time, I needed to buy a house. So I took those films because there was no choice. There was no choice. I was, at that time, you know, that was the best that I was getting, you know. So I just, in my career, there have been two films like this. And, from those two films today, because of these films doing so well, I mean, no one has lost money ever. You know, in that in that last interview, when mm. you were lunging for the feet and saying, I'm a buzzer, you also said to me that that um, I don't want to be remembered as an actor who then became a star, who then became a character actor, yeah. who retired and died. Yeah. You said there has to be a larger than life goal that's mm. beyond the movies, but at that point, you didn't know what that was. Do you know what it is now? No. No. But you still think there has to be something there beyond this? There has to be this. something. I think that right now the only thing that I see is the charitable trust being human. Say, who was the founder of this? I don't know who was the actor. I don't know who was the name. I don't know anything about that. Raza Khan. Amir Shah Rukh Khan. There was something like that. So it should be so big that we just we we forgotten. That has that is that is my goal. That is something that we all want. But this is not the end goal at all. Which? Movies. No, movies are really important because if I didn't have this, I would have nothing. So this too, I'm going to hold on to like really tight. There was a time that the grip was loosening, and I <coughs> got back and I'm started turning the table around and. Um, you always got to fight, always got to fight, you know, and you always got to keep, you know, building your level higher and higher and higher and higher. Like, uh, we went um, to this show the other day, uh, Sunil uh, Grover, Sunil Grover's show, and me and him were sitting down there and we saw Sunil. I felt so incompetent as an actor, so incompetent as an actor, that I was like, shit. Look at these guys, look at their timing, look at how brilliant they are. And I'm like, I just lucked out, dude. So I need to, you know, appreciate the fact and I need to keep on working harder. He has come in 
as um, the doctor, he's not doing any comedy. He's just playing a character. Then after that, he's come in as Mr. Bachchan. Oof, you have to see that. Really? Oh my God, it was like I'm... We both thought that we're sitting in front of Mr. Bachchan. And he's not doing any comedy. He's not... He's not doing mimicry. He's playing it straight. He is straight out playing it. What, how Mr. Bachchan is in his real life? I mean, he's got nuances that, you know, not the filmy ones, the real life ones. I've never seen anything like this. I'm, I'm just looking at him. And so I just felt so incompetent that day. Well, you are human no, after all, huh? Everyone can say, hey, Salatum, I, it's not that. It is how he comes in those days. Something else when he was, yeah? Well, I have to say, I didn't expect that, that you feel incompetent. No, no, I feel incompetent all the time. All the time I see, and I see a lot of people who um, are ten times better, uh, and they're still struggling, and you know, I don't know what connect I have that uh, I'm doing well for myself. I see it in the house only, I see it with Sohel and Arbaaz only. When we three together, their humor, you know, their sensibility, you know, the maturity level is far superior. So I see what I do is only with one thing that they've not done. And uh, they've not done because I've done it before, because I, you know, came into the industry before. So I've picked up Sohel and I've picked up Arbaaz and I chapoed them in in films. In your movies? Yeah. Straight out. Dad. So most of the dialogues early, earlier was used to be things that I've heard from dad. You know, see the Uta get chop. Well, here we're going to see both of you now. Yeah. No need for chapoing. No need, no need, no need. I look forward to seeing Tube Light and thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thank, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Hi, my name is Salman Khan. Hi, my name is Sohel Khan. So if you like this video, then please subscribe to uh, Idikrai. Film Narai. Companion. Film Companion. Thank you.